there! Thanks for tuning in! You're on the Mavada channel and it's Dari here. Today I'm going to explain what the Kuleshov effect is. Alfred Hitchcock called this effect pure cinematics. And the most interesting thing is it's all about the magic of movie editing. Did you guess what I was talking about? No? Here is what happened. We just shot one clip with me in it and spliced copies of it that differ in mood. The thing is, the brain logically connects the scenes by itself. It's not about the actor's performance, it's about a montage that creates each story. The effect was named after its creator, Lev Kuleshov. Probably you have no idea who he is, but he was actually a world-famous filmmaker and film theorist in the early years of the last century. Hmm. What methods of montage do we actually know? Combining shots, montage by direction or lighting, and many other approaches. All these movies were also defined by Kuleshov. Generally speaking, if you are really interested in movies and filmmaking, we recommend you remember this name. When Kuleshov showed this example to his colleagues, everyone claimed unanimously, but independently of each other, that in the first clip the man was hungry, in the second one he felt grief about a girl's death, and in the third one, he's interested in a young woman. Viewers got this impression because of the main character's facial expression. And what about you? As you might have assumed, only four clips were shot for this experiment. The bowl of soup, the kid, the young woman, and the actor himself. Then the picture of the actor was divided into equal parts and spliced with the beginnings of the other clips. This experiment proves that the contents of the next frame can radically change one perception of the previous frame. The actor's performance doesn't always define the contents. The montage defines it too. Maybe you think it's just a trick. No, it's not. Many camera operators, film directors and bloggers have recreated this experiment and drawn the same conclusions. It's amazing, don't you think? Another similar experiment is called Kuleshov Geographical Experiment. It proves that, due to the montage, carefully arranged actors' actions by director can seem uninterpreted and happening in the same place, even if the footage was shot in different locations. This means you can film your actors separately, in different parts of the world. But if the frame is carefully constructed and the actor's actions are coordinated, viewers can be convinced that everything happened in the same place. To do this, Kuleshov filmed and edited a study that showed a woman passing in front of Most Ork on Petrovka Street. In the other clip, the man walked down the Moscow River embankment. Both characters smiled and moved towards each other. Their meeting and handshaking were filmed in front of Gogol's memorial. Here, the actors turned around and looked elsewhere. Then the director added a picture of the United States Capitol building. Then a picture of Prochistinsky Boulevard, where the actors made a decision and went elsewhere. Finally, they walked up the stairs of the Museum of Fine Arts. Everyone who watched the footage saw that the characters had entered the Capitol building. I am always impressed by the magic of montage, because it is totally adorable. If you decide to recreate Kuleshov's experiments, don't be so shy. Leave links to your videos in the comments below. I recommend you watch this episode on how to combine different shots, if you haven't seen it yet. Click a thumbs up, subscribe, well, you know the rest. See you next week, guys! Bye!